Hello, my fellow patriots. This is Alex with Disabled Vets Perspective. Hey, pup. Hey, let's go this way. Come on. Uh, going to be mentioning a little bit of something. I, I guess you'll see it in the title. But there's a event that's planned for right here on the on the DBP estate, and it's going to be on November first, and it's called Prayer Fest. Now. I've been bringing it up, or been talking to Preacher and Greg from Fluid Poor Art, and they're the ones putting this thing together. Uh, the goal is to pray over Lisa, and we're going to turn it into a, a Patriot Festival also. Um, come on, let's go, this way. I'm trying to talk my dog in a hurry up so I can show you what we got going. Um, now, I used to... I used to run a petting zoo, own and, own and run a petting zoo, and we traveled, so uh, we used to set up at the fairs and take all our animals and do that kind of thing. Kids would come in and pay to pet the animals and feed them and all this other. So I've got some interesting equipment because of that. <laughs> One of the things I happen to have is a 30 by 40 foot circus tent. Now the, the plan is, if I can get this damn dog to just come on uh, I have to babysit my son's dog while he's at work so I gotta get her outside she doesn't like to listen to me I want to kick a foot up in her ass you're not my daddy you're not the boss of me you can't tell me what to do Lily let's go like herding cats come on anyway back to what I was saying now, I have this 30 by 40 foot circus tent, so I'm going to set that thing up in the back 40 of my property, and uh, I'm going to have a couple of porta cans back there, and, you know, we'll, we'll have it set up, but the idea is if folks want to attend um, on my property, I've got dwellings, but uh, most of my spare bedrooms are in dwellings that have been destroyed in hurricanes past and my physical condition and my financial backing doesn't allow me to rebuild those places so they're just empty shells but so be it you carry on so i don't have the spare bedroom capacity but what i do have is five acres of nice flat property with trees and shade and uh, room to move around so what we're thinking is that I will put a, a list of hotels from the area into my description and uh, you know along with their phone numbers and things like that so if you wanted to stay in a hotel we've got one that's about six miles from my house but uh, otherwise if you wanted to, you could come here and set up a tent or, you know, set up your camper. You know, I've got, I've got room. I don't have hookups, but I've got room if you had a camper or something, you wanted to pull it back here and set it, set it up. But anyway, what I'm thinking is where I'm walking right now, I just gave up on the dog following me. She'll probably leave the property retarded dog has five acres and she'll leave the property if you turn your back on her but piss on it I'm tired of her not working with me anyway so where i'm standing i want to see if i can remember how to flip this thing around um give me some notification here and then i'm in such bright light i can't even see it um that's the flash so well, allow me to bumble around for a minute and of course not I'm not gonna be able to try and turn this thing around anyway yeah I hate technology so where I am standing I've got room here that we're gonna set up the circus tent the idea of the tent is that we're gonna have a prayer meeting and I'm gonna have the barbecue grill set up so there's going to be some uh, fellowship after the meeting 
and uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna set up a fire pit and sit around and tell ghost stories and things like that and we basically this is a I it's kind of a spur of the moment thing but uh, we've left a couple of weeks for people to make plans if they want to be here and uh, I will make it as comfortable as possible I'll try to make sure to feed you guys and you know have some have some good times we'll go live during the event I'll set up my tripod out here and set up my phone and <coughs> we'll try to do that kind of thing but uh, <coughs> anyway I was planning on trying to keep this a secret from Lisa until we got it up and going but after a discussion today with Lisa she's pretty down uh, part of the I, I would say one of the most important things towards recovering from any life-threatening ailment is your mental status you have to be I'm gonna kick this thing's ass I ain't scared you know nothing's gonna mess with me you got to keep that attitude and listening to her today I think she's lost that attitude and I think we need to, to get it back to her she sounded defeated when we were talking today not a good thing not not comfortable so I plan on perhaps after we get done listening to Pete maybe maybe about three o'clock um, we'll just <laughs> I got to see what happens. I was thinking I'd go live and tell her about it live on air, but I don't know if that'd be fair to her because she's going to, that's going to rip her up. She's going to cry like a little girl and all that other stuff. So, um, anyway, I am going to tell her about it today. And the reason I'm going to do that is because when you have something like this, you need to set goals and and the real reality of cancer is you need to set goals that can be reached even if the worst condition continues to befall you. And something that is two weeks out becomes another short-term goal that is easily reachable if, you're, if your state of mind is correct. So I am going to tell her about it. And, you know, she's going to be she's going to be amazed she's she is amazed by how much support she's getting from all you folks out there so uh anyway that's the plan i'm going to tell her about it and of course the dog's gone so whatever i'm going to tell her about it and uh, i'm going to get the information about the hotels uh also like i said if you want to bring your camper we can get it back there if you want to bring a tent Obviously, I've got plenty of room for that. The temperatures are nice and cool at night. Uh, very comfortable in the daytime, so there's no need for air conditioning or anything like that. It's, it's, we have hit that time of year where temperatures are quite neutral and uh, very comfortable. So the biggest thing I need from you folks is some kind of a number of how many people will be here because that will help me to make sure I have enough food uh, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna rent porta cans so uh, I need to know if I need more than one if I need just one whatever so I've got to have numbers and if you guys could give me an RSVP if you would like to do something like this uh, I will make sure that you have the information you need. Obviously, my my address is in my description under all my videos because I don't need to hide. But anyway, so it's there, and there's room to park vehicles and drive into the back and pull your camper back there if you want to, that kind of thing. So everything is there. Like I said, it'll be boondocking. You know, I, I don't have hookups back there, but... Uh, you know, a day or two with boondocking is most people can do that with a RV of any description. But uh, I'm I'm open to people getting here as early as Friday 
the weekend of the first because Sunday is the official day of prayer and we will hold a, a service and prayer meeting with preacher and then we'll obviously have our fellowship and you know then if people want to head home after that that's fine if you want to stay i mean if you're retired or whatever and you want to stay till monday i have no problem with that either but the basics are friday to sunday and uh, i hope to get a bunch of people but like i said we're going to do it live also we're going to have a, a live feed hopefully Maybe there will be other creators as, that are there as well that can live feed from their phones. So maybe we'll have more than one stream. Uh, we'll have other people mirroring the stream. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Pete's gonna gonna do that. Or it'd be neat. It'd be nice if we could get Pete live and then him simulcasting my live on his live, and then we could interact during the uh, during the celebration. So, anyway, we're going to hammer some stuff out. Like I said, this is something that's been, it's just been brought up. There's not a lot of time, so uh, we got a lot of work to do to, uh, to make sure we have everything in order. But uh, knowing how many people are going to be here is going to be a major help. Uh, Anyway, knowing, knowing how much food I need, that's that's a big deal. And I uh, uh, almost fell over. Whew, got dizzy. Nope, there we go. Whoop, there again. Um, the people that are sending cards to Lisa, I uh, got a couple more right here. Oh, thank you, Pete. Um, those are really helping her a lot in the, in the mental fight. So, uh, you know everything that you guys are doing is helping to get her through this this is it's a deadly disease it's uh, it's a violent disease it really when you start messing with somebody's lungs it's it makes life pretty difficult and uh, she's a trooper she's a fighter but she's also tired so I need to give her this goal. I need to know how many people. Uh, I think we can make it a hell of an event. I think we can bring her spirits up. And uh, I can. I think we can get her in the fight a little bit longer. Because that's key. So, uh, anyway. This is quite a ramble. I hope you guys have been able to keep up. My head's just spinning because of it. I know I have a lot to do to make it happen. But, uh, I guess... Uh, that's where I'll leave it. I'll get the information on the hotel that's down the street, plus a couple more that are close by. We've got a a hotel. I don't think anybody wants anything to do with that, but the other ones that I've got in town are decent. So I'm going to give you the the decent hotels as a list. But like I say, if you want to set up a tent, you want to set up camping, do something like that, then obviously I can accommodate that too. So, with that being said, I gotta go find a damn dog. Oh, it's so frustrating. <laughs> Five acres, and she'll be the one to find the one little bitty hole and haul ass, and then I gotta go looking around for her. Just bullshit. So, that being said, I think I'm gonna let this one end.